Uh, King Fu Hot Dog. I don't know why I like that name more than I probably should. I haven't got one but two video gameplay trailer reactions to react to. This is from the Video Game Awards from Thursday. I didn't watch the event because honestly, it doesn't really mean much to me these days, but I am always curious and excited to know what new releases are going to be with us maybe in the next year. So this one, you can tell already what it is, but I want to give you some of my thoughts and insight into how good this particular game can be. So if you haven't seen this trailer, it's only 45 seconds long, but we'll get into it. My daughter, a new threat comes to our shores and I must call you home. Restore what has been broken. Unite old enemies. Forge new bonds. You are a hero. But you can be more. You can be a leader. You are Wonder Woman. Okay, right, insert the Marvel characters into this, why don't you? Good grief, I can't find a, like a really good tra trailer reveal for this. It's only 45 seconds long, but uh, interesting to note, there's two things. So, uh, We Can Gather is going to take place in Themyscira, that's Wonder Woman's homeland. So that kind of brings new possibilities to light. Obviously, she'll be using her uh, Lasso of Truth as part of her... Um, combat skills. Also, the other reason why I'm really, really excited, this game, Shadow of Mordor. Love this freaking game. Haven't finished it yet because the fighting is so damn good. It's like they've taken the element of Batman Arkham Asylum. They've put their own little spin on the fighting. I'll tell you that if you've never played this game, you know, you should get this very, very cheap now. It is awesome, man. Like Lord of the Rings on steroids. That's basically what it is. And it's just fantastic. I bet you this will be better than that ill-fated Amazon Lord of the Rings show that nobody cares about, but I can't wait to mock it when they finally release a trailer. Panic station alert, trust me on that one. But the other thing I want to talk about quickly about this trailer, um, I hope they have a, a customization tool so you can make Diana Prince like your own version of Wonder Woman. So, you know, some people have said, oh, you know, are we going to get a Gal Gadot skin? Well, one thing I'm happy about with this with this particular de the design, uh, if you were going to base it on Gal Gadot, how much money is that going to cost? That's going to cost a lot. Yeah, she's with Warner Brothers already, but it doesn't qualify her to have her image plastered on everything. And like, besides, she's not my ideal Wonder Woman, Gina Carano is, but Zack Snyder didn't notice her potential talent back in 2016, did he? So it's a real shame. But with this particular Wonder Woman, if I can actually get a good close-up of her here we go now the best cosplay wonder woman i've seen and i do follow her on instagram is brigitte goods if you haven't seen her she has got the goods she looks amazing she's gorgeous she's not one of these uh, gym women that has a big head and a, a tiny body quite the opposite actually and, and i actually said to her you should cosplay as Wonder Woman more and make some fan films. Honestly, she is the real deal, man. Unbeatable. So I think they've probably looked at her and just kind of um, done a hybrid of other kind of strong women to form this one ultimate Wonder Woman. But I'm excited to see this trailer, man. When I do like a gameplay trailer, this is obviously a cinematic one, just to see her pummel six shades of shit out of her enemies. That's going to be great. And obviously the trailer they mentioned uh, uh, forging uh, bonds with new um, allies and then coming across old foes. So I'd be kind of curious to see what it's going to be like. I'm, 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 I reckon it's going to be similar to uh, Shadow Mordor, where Wonder Woman is just wandering around Themyscira and she has to take down these threats. That's what I think it's going to be, but I like it. If you can customize her to be your own kind of Wonder Woman, I'm all for it, man. Anyway, let's go across to a 4K reaction for Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. So this is going to be um, interesting. It's going to be like gameplay of the actual characters involved. And you know what? Villains are so much more fun than the heroes. So take it away, Jeff Keighley. Scott, good. All right. Well, I think we've waited long enough to see Rock City's new game. This is going to be worth the risk. 
You want you guys want to do it? Yeah. Boy, Captain Boomerang. Justice League. I think of Wonder Woman, Superman, Green Lantern. You don't want to mess with that lot. But you, Barry, <laughs> you're just the team mascot, aren't you, mate? The loser of the league, folks. <laughs> Barry the Allen. Just man alive. It's the Flash. Flash is alive, and he's playing for Team Brainiac. I gave you orders. Kill the Flash. Or I'll kill you myself. Cool, cool. Like in Harley, man, she looks good. I like the art design. Nothing can stop me. Oh, but this has kind of got like a bit of a Borderlands feel to it, but in third person. Obviously, that's cinematics. Did you get him? Really? Why don't you just mail me the bullet? On <laughs> the eye in the sky, taking point beam shot. Override. Nice, nice. Who else needs a passion? This looks like a lot of fun, man. Wow, I like it. Again, cinematics. Does King Shark really need the machine gun? I don't think so. <laughs> you come on, you gotta have like a full heavy metal soundtrack for this game. Okay, I do have some concerns that I can see in this game already. <laughs> I like Evil Flash, he's good. <laughs> Don't be a hero. There you go. Be an anti-hero. <laughs> really thought Flash I had us that. <laughs> 2022, okay, that's all we get. Now, this is an interesting year that they're choosing to release this because what? We've got The Flash, we've got Shazam, we've got the Batman movie coming out. Obviously, no Suicide Squad sequel coming out. So I reckon this will probably land maybe October of next year. I don't know. I just have a feeling they still need to work on the game. So I think October 2022 could be a very good time to release this. Also, my birth month, which would really, really help Rocksteady. So I do like it. The only concern that I kind of have at the moment is that we're seeing a repetition of the same combat skills that we saw throughout. You know, pointed at third person shoot play, mechanic shoot play, um, shooting gun play mechanics of the various characters. I wanted to see more of like, I mean, obviously we got to see a glimpse of King Shark eating somebody before they cut away to something else. Um, but Harley, you know, she's an acrobat, so we could have seen her doing more of her acrobatic uh, skills against her enemies. We'll probably see that in the game anyway. Captain Boomerang looks fine. Like I said, the game looks fine. It didn't really, really blow me away like I was hoping it would, but I, I don't know. Uh, again, the way game development happens these days is like people, the staff are, are under constant pressure. There's crunch, there's other... Uh, unmentionable things that I won't mention in this review or this reaction about uh, game game development but if you look it all up you can see all for yourself it's not all really sunshine and roses if you get my drift but in Hollywood and in the entertainment industry that is just generally the culture anyway so I hope Rocksteady just really stick the landing on this one it's a different departure obviously we could we should still see evil Superman we didn't see him in this one that's Clark Kent by the way not Jonathan so on that one folks this has just been what a three minutes reaction to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League coming to your console or PC of your choice in 2022. Did you see this gameplay footage, guys? What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's just like 
not enough gameplay, a bit more cinematics interwoven. I don't really know, but if you want to hit me up with a comment below, go ahead and do that. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Good night, mate. Like and subscribe or get your nuts Krogan crushed with Jason King.